hello guys welcome back uh, further in this series we will be talking about how to build this report so this template is built by jitesh rawat he is one of my friends so he crafted this uh, template and we will be referring this template to create all the components and how we will start from scratch so the first video for this entire series is going to be how to use sql lab in order to get the data set that we want so to create this report we have data set that something looks like something like this so you will find this excel in github link and we have country employment rate literacy rate age segmentation and uh, sex ratio top 10 cities total population by city by country and then finally we have a data model so if you see that it is a it all these things are linked to a dimension that is a country and uh, we don't exactly have same similar like this because uh, i didn't create like lookups and so on and one more thing that you will notice that i am doing joins on string that is not advisable but okay this is a small data set and just for educational purpose so we are going to go ahead uh why we are going to do this is because we like some reporting tool like power bi they support modeling and you can do but in superset we don't have that option so what we are going to do is we are going to create a flat model like one entire table that will have all the fields in order to create this report because we want this report to be interactive so when someone select some country in here then it should automatically filter out all the things like cities for that specific country employment rate for that specific country and so on so vice versa in any of these things so let's go deep inside so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in sql and go click on sql lab in sql lab you will see few things so this is database that i already created so i'm going to select the second one in this database you can see we have a uh, database schema then table schema you can select a table name and then you will see schema on right hand side we have query pane where you can write queries and below you will see result and query history so you will see like something that i already tried select star and it is working so let me quickly write the query that we want so i am going to to select star from okay now our query is ready so you can see uh, i guess literacy rate is having some issue let it be we will see if, okay we do have literacy rate it's not like all is blank we do have some and some are null fine so this is how our data looks like now once we have it you can see we have two option one is save so you can save it like uh, the what is our this thing it is like world population so world population data and you can write the description or a data of world population flat data model and you can write detail description and you can save it now you can see the tab is renamed but it is of no use so i mean it is of some use but we cannot directly create some charts and something so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click and save as data set and you can see either we have option to load uh, to overwrite existing or save new so i'm going to rename it as new oops so let me call it world population data set world population flat mod flat okay now it is pretty much clear that what is data model data set is and i am going to save and click on explore save and explore so now it redirected it to the new site and now you can see we have all the columns available here in the in in one thing now if i want to see so this is available even in table 
you can see it by default selected all the columns so if we don't want all these things you can remove but that is part of different video so once in next video what i'm going to do is we are going to start one by one with each visual and then we will integrate uh, this entire thing together and then we will start working on color coloring and fonts and everything so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye